silver question here. Today I will be giving you a tour on my Schleich horse collection. I'm very sorry if I pronounced the brand name wrong, I've never really known how to pronounce it. I have 122 horses here on display and I'm still expanding my collection to this day. I apologise if I pronounce some of the breed names wrong as well as um, the actual breed of the horse or the sex. I tend to forget so I'm sorry about that. I've been collecting Schlechs for about 12 or more years and I'm very happy with my collection so far. Okay so without further ado I'll move on to the collection tour. So I'm gonna go from left to right and I don't have names for like any of them. There's the odd name here and there which I'll tell you. Also, I'm going to try and go through them as quick as I can so the video is not too long since there is 122 horses to go through. So this first one here is the Tennessee Walking Gelding and I named this one Tambo. I named him that because my auntie in Canada has a horse that looks exactly like him and he was called Tambo. So the next one over is the same horse, Tennessee Walker Gelding, but it's the repainted version they did of them. The next one here is my Tennessee Walker Mare. This one is the Tennessee Walker Mare. I think, yeah, she's really pretty. I love her colour. What you'll notice is I've done them in uh, breeds, so they're all together. So I've got like the Tennessee Walking Horses all together. And then I've also put them in date order. I think these guys were from 2007 and I think she was from 2016. I could be wrong. So yeah, I've got them from the earliest model to the latest and within their breeds. Next I have my Halflingers. This one here is the Halflinger Gelding and then I've got the Foal and the Mare and then I've got two of the Halflinger Stallions. I will repaint my duplicates at some point, I will custom them. Um, so if you have any like suggestions on which colour or type I should make them then just comment below. I just think they're really cool. I've got quite a lot of duplicates. Not as many as I'd like but I'll repaint them all at some point. Then I've got this cute little halflinger foal. I think it's really adorable. And then I've got the mare here. So we'll go behind first. A lot of my shelves are quite crammed full. I don't have that much space for them so unfortunately I have had to put some in front and some behind and some don't even have a shelf yet so I'm going to get a bigger bookcase for them. So here I've got my rearing Mustang stallions. I've got one of the white ones and two of the black. Um, so over to the side I've got my Andalusian stallion. My Andalusian Foal, which has nail polish all over it. I have a few with nail polish on them and I haven't gotten around to fixing them and cleaning them up. Um, as a kid, I decided it would be a good idea to paint them with it to make it look like they were bleeding after like a tiger attack. I didn't think about the consequences it would have and I'm left with kind of um, nail polish covered horses. What I'll do with that is I'll just use some kind of remover to remove it and then if it takes off any of the paint I will just repaint. And then I've got my Andalusian Mare, I've got my Lusitano Stallion and my Akalteki Stallion. So going back we have my Camargue Mare and then we have the Foal and the Camargue Stallion and I named the stallion Silver because I have a mare that looks exactly like him called Silver. Well she um, looked like that when she was a bit younger because she had darker mane. So I just called him Silver as well. So I'll give you an overview of the shelf and that is the top. So moving on to the next one. Here I have my two Tinker Mares. Remove him. And then I have my two Tinker Foals and three Tinker Stallions. So unfortunately this guy is missing an ear. I can't remember what happened. I think I either dropped him or left him in a box with some others and his ear came off unfortunately. So what I'll do is when I get the materials I will rebuild him an ear and repaint him. And then the one at the end is the repainted version that they did. And then just here we have the newer Tinkerful. Next to them we have the Bashkir curly ponies. We have the mare and the foal. 
Then we have the two Frisian mares, and you'll notice that oh, this girl's quite dusty, but this one is kind of more brown than this one. And I've noticed that with quite a lot of the duplicates I have, they tend to be sort of very different from each other. Like the tones and the colors and the brightness is like, it varies and you'll notice that later on as well. And in between I have my little Frisian foal and then I have the Frisian stallion and the newer Frisian mare. So moving on again, I have my Lipizanas. So I have my oldest Lipizana and he was, I think, the very first Schlech I ever got. And I think I got him at like a antique sort of sale. And then I've got my two Lipizana stallions, I think. Um, and then a foal and the newer mare. And then back over here in front, I have my fell stallion my fell mare and the foal. And over here, I have my Fallabellas. So I have my stallion, my mare, my foal, and gelding, just checking there. Um, so again, the foal is covered in nail polish. Um, I just got a little rug on that I made. Uh, so I'll have to fix all that. So a little overview again, that's that row. Uh, moving down again, I have my Arabians at the back here. I really don't know which ones geldings, which ones are stallions, um, but I'll have a look anyway. Um, okay, this is a gelding. So that's my Arabian gelding. And then I've got two foals, and they're the same foals, but you'll really notice the colour difference. The one, the more sort of cherry coloured one, I painted a star on her when I was a bit younger but I'll be repainting them anyway, like one of them. But yeah, the colour difference is quite like insane between those two. And then I've got my Arabian Stallion, I'm pretty sure. My two Arabian Mares. And then again, the same with these two foals. You'll notice quite a big colour difference. And then I've got my, I think it's the Pintabian, and I'm pretty sure it's the Stallion. Um, I'll see if I can get him out without knocking anyone. Yep, he's the stallion. Um, so then moving on from them, I've got my Appaloosas and Nabstruppers. I've got my Appaloosa Gelding, my Nabstrupper Mare and her two foals. Um, then got the Nabstrupper Stallion, the Appaloosa Mare, Appaloosa Foal and the Appaloosa Stallion. Then I have my Quarter Horses. So I have the Quarter Horse Mare and the two stallions. So if I move back to the start, I've got my Icelandic ponies here. Well, they're all mares apart from the foal, obviously. Um, so yeah, and they're all from different years. Okay, so now we have my Shetlands. So this is my oldest Schleich I own. He's the 1995 Shetland Gelding. And then we have two Shetland mares. You'll see the uh, main colours quite different. Um, and then same with her babies. One's a lot more sort of cherry coloured than the other. Then we have my Shetland gelding, another Shetland mare, the Shetland stallion, Shetland mare and the baby. So that's an overview of that shelf. Okay, so coming on to the bottom shelf, I have all of my draft horses and then some random ones at the front. So right at the end here, we have my uh, Shire Gelding. Now we have my two Shire Foals, my Shire Mare and my Shire Stallion. Then we have my two Clydesdale Mares, my two Clydesdale Geldings, but obviously they're different. Um, then we have my two Percherons, um, they're stallions, and you'll notice like how different they are from each other. They're like not customs or anything, they're the same exact model, but just one has intense apples and then one has quite subtle, which I thought was like such a big difference, it's really cool. Next over we have the mares, and then we have my Black Forest Stallion and the Colt. And there we have my Arden Stallion. So in front here we have my two donkeys, 
Um, I just put them there because they're really cute. And then my Dartmoor ponies. We've got my mare here, then the foal, and then the Dartmoor stallion. And at the very end here, we have my Przewalski's wild horse. So I'll give you another little overview. And that's the draft horses. So coming down onto the bottom. So at the bottom, I have more horses because I couldn't fit them on the shelf, unfortunately. So at the end here, I have a Hanoverian foal and then the Hanoverian mare. So then we have my Hanoverian stallion and then my Hanoverian mare. So going down again, I unfortunately don't really know if these guys have breeds or not. I just know that this pony here is the riding pony mare and I think it's the same for this one. Um, I think this is a gelding, however. Yeah, so I think that's a riding pony gelding. Um, but I, I could be wrong. And then I have this guy who's called Butterscotch. Um, that's the name I think he came with. And I think he's a riding horse. And the same with this horse here. I think that's a riding horse mare. And, um, yeah, I don't have names for her. Um, and then we have my Fjords. So we have my Fjord Stallion, the Foal, and then the Mum, the little mare. Then we have my Paints and Pintos. So we've got um, the Stallion here. And then we have Mare and a Foal, and then the Stallion and another Stallion. So that's the overview of them and I'll give you an overview of the entire shelf. And that's all of them. So I really hope you enjoyed my Schleich tour. I know it was nothing special but I just wanted to show you my collection so far. So if you want me to do a Briar collection tour then comment down below and leave a like on this video and I will make one. So I've got to get a bigger bookshelf for all of these guys, or at least another bookshelf, um, so I can expand my collection even more. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!